Okay, I see what I did. I rewrote it as plus two instead of plus three. So I just have to bring this up. Okay, so plus three. So I have 1.2247 minus three, which gives you a negative 1.78. And then negative 1.2247 minus 3 gives you a negative 4.2247. Okay? So you get the same values either way. Um, and that's why it's good to know how to do it both ways because then you can double check everything. Um, to find your y-intercept, your y-intercept is a little bit more complicated when it is in vertex format because you are finding what y is when x is 0. Okay, so you're looking for your y value when x is 0. So it's really not that much more complicated. It's just a few more steps that you have to do. So you have negative 2 times 9 plus 3. So negative 18 plus 3. So we get negative 15, which is the same thing as right here. Okay, so you can look right up there and see that, yes, I did that correctly. Okay, so that is finding x and y intercepts. Um, and then the max and the min, I already went over. We know this is going to be a max because our first value, the a value, when it is um, uh, greater than zero or positive, we have a minimum. When the a value is less than zero or negative, we have a maximum. And that's how you know. Just look at the first term. And it's the same whether it's in standard form or vertex form. It's just if it's positive, you have a minimum. If it's negative, you have a maximum. And then the last thing is the range. The range is all based on your vertex, OK? So remember, the range is your y values. Domain is your x values. So we're looking for the y values. So for this particular um, function or quadratic, my um, my parabola looks like this. I'm just going to show it to you. So my vertex is at negative 3, 3. It goes down. It crosses at negative 4 plus something and negative 1, almost negative 2. So it crosses here and here. My y value is clear down here where it crosses the y. Clear down here at negative 15. Okay. So my range is from my low y, so negative infinity, up to the y value of my vertex. And the y value of my vertex is 3. And it does include the 3, OK? So that is a point that we need to include. So your range is all based on the vertex. So if the vertex is a maximum, it's going to be negative infinity to the y value of the vertex. If it's a minimum, so let's say it looks like this, and my vertex starts here, it would be from, let's say this is um, negative 10. So it would be from negative 10 to infinity. So it's going to go all the way up. Okay, so the range again is based on the y value of your vertex. That's how you find the, the range. All right, so I believe that's it. We found our intercepts. We found our vertex, either by vertex formula or completing the square. Max and min is based on the first term, positive or negative, And the range is based on the y value of your, of your vertex.